so those were a couple of quick shots uh, with the rob and stop. Now after um, being able to use this thing for about uh, two weeks uh, frequently, um, I'd say that it's a big improvement on the top that I had previously. Now, I will say the top that I had previously was the original from 2001. Uh, so it's possible that a lot of my gripes were that with that was due to its age. You know, it was a bit laborious uh, to get both up and to get down. Uh, whereas with this top, it's extremely simple uh, to get up and down. So with one hand, I could just reach back up there. And just like that, you know, the top is easily up. Uh, and um, the inverse of that, <laughs> to, if you want to bring it back down, it's extremely easy uh, to put down. Um, so um, again, huge improvement on my previous top. Uh, it was, again, a lot more laborious to get it up and down. Um, so from that end, I will say that the top uh, has performed uh, nicely. Um, also, the feel of it, the look of it, um, it looks, as I said in my previous video, uh, it looks like it's of you know pretty high quality. Um, the other thing I'll have to say about the top uh, is that, uh, and I did mention this in an earlier video, uh, that it seems like it's a bit easier to destroy. Like the previous uh, top that came with the MR2 Spider seemed to have some type of shield or whatnot inside of it, uh, such that you couldn't cut all the way through it. And just to give you guys an idea of what exactly that is, what that means, let me put this thing back up for a second. All right, so we are up. And what I mean by that is that when you put your hands here, it's straight cloth, it's straight canvas. Like if I had a knife and I cut it, I mean, you'd be, <laughs> you'd be in here. Um, and it's the same for the rest uh, of your top. Um, whereas the previous top, the original OEM top, had a type of shell, um, so um, that could not happen. So I'm not sure how concerned uh, you guys are uh, with the possibility of someone breaking into your car. I mean, you shouldn't ever try to leave stuff of higher value inside your car. But like if you have a nice stereo or something and someone sees that, they, I mean, they'd be able to make easy work uh, of, you know, the Robin Stop. So that's pretty much the only gripe that I have with the Robin Stop. I know online um, I was seeing some things about cloth tops being hard to clean, um, but I mean, I did not notice that, you know, whenever you know I gave my car a wash earlier uh, today. You know, I just had a microfiber cloth and had some water. As ran water over it and it pretty much you know got all the bad stuff out so um, it's been a, a pretty uh, positive experience uh, so uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know there was one guy in particular uh, who said he wanted to see uh, more shots uh, of the top um, so um, hopefully the previous footage that you guys saw was a little bit cinematic but for some of the layman's out there I think I was gonna do a nice little simple walk around um, with my uh, cell phone camera opposed to my uh, DSLR. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, that I forgot to mention uh, whenever I picked up uh, my top from the upholster uh, he told me that Robbins put way too much glue uh, back there uh, whenever they were mounting that window uh, he said that if he uh, would have ordered the top and it came in that condition uh, he would have been livid I mean he said he did clean it up but I don't know how much is this him upselling his own services 
Brett actually being true, but he did say that someone who wasn't as good as him uh, would not have done that. And that's one reason why it pays uh, to bring your car to someone like him. So um, not sure if I could speak to the quality control or quality assurance and quality control of Robbins, um, but that's just what I was told. I just wanted to pass that information along. Ah, so, you know, thanks you guys for watching. You know, if you liked it, uh, like, share, and subscribe. You know, I kind of just want to put that video out there because I promised someone who commented on one of my videos that I would put something up uh, on that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be building a Vail side M2 Spider. I um, already have, you know, a couple heartaches and cool stuff that are uh, associated with that whole, whole project, and I will make some videos on that. But yeah, um, as always, you know, if you like the content, please make sure to. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.